I'm trying to make it so you don't have to watch me chew. Because I know people are uh, not really big fans of people talking with their mouth full. Coffee. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, my wife's telling me to drink some coffee. Oh, water. No, I don't have any water. Oh my gosh, for Mina and, and her quest to make me drink more water. I gotta do this once. The whole, oh, show the logo thing, except it's backwards, but whatever. I'm not a real big show the logo kind of guy, but yeah. And so this is a, uh, whatever these are, I think eight ounce. Mocha Frappuccino? No. <laughs> you know on the video? Look at the video. Look! Oh no, for me Look. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Pretty typical Sunday morning in Casa de Santos de Jackman. Mm. Mm. So, I don't know what she's making for herself, but um, she makes me. Um, let's see, this is what I mean. I don't say it's it's definitely not every day, and it's it's probably one of the two weekend days, either Saturday or Sunday. My wife is quite the domestic goddess. So, I'm mostly doing this, <coughs> excuse me, I'm mostly doing this video because I got the new iPhone 11 Pro Max um, a couple days ago, just kind of playing with the settings. And I got a, um, I don't know what the actual name of it is because I, when I assembled it, I I put it. I think I put the the head of the tripod on um, on backwards. But I got one of those uh, about a seventeen dollar um, um, uh, tripod from from Amazon. One of those little spider tripods. A little tabletop kind of tripod and um, I want to say UB size or something like that um, definitely um, made out of some Chinesium but um, like I was saying, I got the uh, the uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max and a 256 gig model. Um, and I realized that as I was making that when I when I started recording, I think it's um, this thing will go all the way up to 4K 60 frames a second, but um, but. When I when I started recording the cooking video, um, I think it's the default is still 1080p 60, which I think is what I had it set to last. Um, 
so we're gonna we're gonna go with that for this video my my future videos will uh will definitely be more 4k enabled but uh And uh, so just speaking of other random stuff and this, I don't know, I guess it's a, this is this would be a mukbang if you're in Virginia, but I, or in West Virginia, but I think officially uh, mukbang is the whole talking, eating, blogging kind of thing. Um, so interestingly, today is Sunday the 26th. And um, I live, well, well, not me. Uh, we live, me and my wife live, very close to, excuse me, uh, Nationals. Uh, World, oh wait, Washington, uh, 2019 World Series champion, Washington National Stadium. And, um, excuse me while I scratch my nose, um, I, we are, uh, this is our first year as, uh, as, man, season ticket holders. Um, so one of the, one of the, uh, full plan season ticket holders. Um, um, and one of the benefits of being a, a full, like, season ticket holder, all 82 home games, um, is that you get a couple perks and uh, one of them today is if you've ever seen MLB uh, Hot Stove on MLB Network uh, the Nationals are doing a version of that it's like a uh, town hall um, meeting with like the managers and uh, some some of the executive staff and you can ask questions we had to submit them. Um, I did not submit them. I didn't submit any, but I had the opportunity to submit um, questions for the for the hot stove this afternoon over at Nationals Park. Um, I'm not sure where it actually is because I've never, I've never. This will be my first year as a season ticket holder. Oh, uh, but. It's weird the 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 pictures on the website made it look like it was inside in the media center, um, or at least in previous years it was like inside in the in the in the press room in the media center, or whatever. Um, but I don't. I mean, after winning the World Series, there's been quite a run on, um, on, um, um, sip of coffee here. There's been quite a run on, um, the season tickets, and I don't think that, uh, I don't know that everybody will fit in the media center, so... I think they're putting a stage, like maybe a covered stage or something out on the field and doing it there. Um, which, you know, it would be kind of fun to go to. I mean, I, I can go, but, um, but it's, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, I don't know. Uh, we're kind of undecided about it, honestly. Um, and I can't really describe why other than it's the, it'll be a lot of chaos for one thing. Um, and, um, and I don't know, it's, it's from two o'clock to four o'clock on a Sunday afternoon and I'm not, 
I'm not super motivated about going, so we'll see if we go or not. Um, one of the one of the big one of the big issues is, uh, and um, you know, interestingly speaking of the um, the hot stove thing, this will be the third or fourth season ticket holder event if we don't go that we have not been to um we got invited to and i mean it's not just us it's you know everybody's season ticket holder thing um first there was nat's photo day at um at national stadium four season ticket holders where you could get your season tickets and um or sorry use your season tickets to get into the park to basically the way i understood it um you could basically run around in the stadium like go up to the pitcher's mound and whatever and take pictures like selfies for for Christmas cards, or you know, you could go into the locker room, um, and uh, you know, in the media center, and take pictures in the locker room, and I don't know some of the clubs, probably not all of the suites, but um, but um, so the club level and stuff like that. And um, interesting, you know, it was supposed to be. Um, the original date was in, like, whenever the World Series was in October. Um, the original date was, sorry, I'm trying to reach for a napkin. There we go. Ah! Move the tripod while we, while I uh, grab a napkin. It was supposed to be right the original day, it was supposed to be right after the uh, the Nats won the World Series, and literally like two days after, and because the um, the Nats beat the Astros, that was a really weird World Series, by the way. I was really hoping that um, the Nats would have won um, at least one game at home, but, you know, it's really weird that... Um, that speaking of speaking of the Astros in particular and the whole sign stealing thing that um <laughs> the Astros and the sign stealing they only won on the they only won the World Series games on the road, which presumably is where it's gonna be a lot harder to do all that sign stealing stuff. So uh I, I don't know what to say about all that, but, um, anyway, so, um, the, the, the Nats photo day was supposed to be like two days after they won the world series, but because those guys won on the road, um, let me see if I can adjust this a little bit because they won on the road, um, they did, I don't think they even had time to clean out their lockers and, and, you know, do all that stuff. So like we, you know, if they would have let you into the locker room, which they probably wouldn't have, um, you know, uh, you would have seen like, I don't know, Anthony Rendon's used cleats or Juan Soto's dirty jock straps or whatever baseball guys keep in their lockers. Um, so they, they, they postponed it, and um, and then I think they postponed it again. Maybe they postponed it three times, but so the date they actually had it, um, it was a little weird um, because you had to pick a time slot. It was in like a ninety-minute time slot. Um, excuse me while I scratch my nose. Um, it was a 90 minute time slot thing and ours was really early from like 8.30 to 10 or something. And, um, and, uh, 
it was the the day that it happened it was another like sunday afternoon it was just freezing outside i mean it was it was like i don't know they're probably literally freezing like 32 degrees and um and the wind it was super windy and like i rolled over and said hey baby you want to go over to the stadium for the photo thing and she was like uh and i you know we have an alexa in the bedroom let's check this out alexa what what's the temperature right now it's 43 degrees fahrenheit today expect a high of 49 degrees oh 49 Would you like to know the weather for tomorrow no so man 49 is gonna be a little i mean 49 is a good temperature but not if we're gonna be outside in a freaking baseball stadium um but so anyway i rolled over and went hey you want to go over to the stadium today for the photos and whatever and blah 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 and she's like no and we rolled over and went back to sleep so that was that was the first instance um the the second um season ticket holder event that we could have gone to was um the nats do winter fest i think most of the I think most of the MLB teams do. It's, it's kind of like a kid's day. I don't know. You can, you can, I don't know, buy tickets and uh, get into the park and they have crazy stuff. Like you can go into the batting cages and hit balls and you can drive the little, um, uh, you know, the little cart thing, um, the bullpen cart around and, um, you know, you can just generally run around the, run around the stadium and, and do stuff. And me being in the, uh, well, let me make sure I'm all covered up here. Me being in a wheelchair, my, uh, my permobile, brand new permobile F350, which I don't know, you can't really see it anyway because the camera's too high. But, uh, there are a couple things I figured, um, oh, so let me, let me, uh, before I ramble on about, uh, Winterfest. So as part of Winterfest season ticket holders, before the first day of winter, before the first day of Winterfest started, the season ticket holders could go, it was an autograph session with the players. Um, so the way it worked was a little interesting. And I mean, I guess they had to do this because everybody would want autographs from from um from you know three out of the whatever 20 or so probably um players that actually showed up to autograph stuff but there were four groups a b c and d when you requested your tickets you picked a group and i believe we picked group b i mean you didn't know I didn't know who, what there, what the significance was of the groups at the time, but I think we picked group B and, um, you could only, you could only get one group. So if there are 20 players that showed up, for example, and there are four groups, A, B, C, and D, the five players were randomly assigned. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the players were evenly divided between the four groups. So if there were 20 players that showed up, um, there would be five in each group, five in A, five B, five C, and five D. And if you were assigned, if your tickets were assigned to group B, those are the only five players that you could get autographs from. So, and you had no idea what, which five players they were. So, um, it was like, if you were in group B and you wanted Juan Soto's autograph, who was in group D, you were pretty much out of luck. And it was like a, it was like a 45 minute thing for all the season ticket holders, which basically means it was chaos. And, um, so I did not go to that either. Um, I actually bought autograph books on on uh, Amazon uh, uh, online using Amazon, and 
the autograph book showed up and my wife, Fermina, was like, what the hell are these for? Um, so, yeah. And anyway, Nat's Winterfest, I did not get the tickets. So the autograph session was before Nat's Winter, the first day of Nat's Winterfest. And I did not get tickets because I assumed it was mostly a, a kid's thing. And um, being in a wheelchair, I mean, I'm sure the stadium was accessible, obviously. But while I might go driving up across the grass under the pitcher's mound, you know, to take a picture or whatever, I'm not going to... I'm probably not going to go driving into the batting cages and, and you know, uh, doing stuff in the batting cages. I, I wasn't really sure how much uh, uh, stuff there would have been for us to actually do. And my wife was kind of only mediumly on board with that. Well, it's funny because she's only mediumly on board with the whole season ticket thing. She was pretty pissed at me for, for even buying them. But... Um, uh, so all these other superfluous uh, nationals activities, she's like, these are kind of stupid. Why are we doing this? So yeah, anyway. Um, so I think that about covers uh, covers uh, this one. Like I said, this is just kind of an experimental thing. We'll see how it goes, see how the video editing goes and all that. And uh, maybe I'll do some more, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Talk to you guys soon. Oh, gotta polish off the coffee.